A deadly plane crash in Russia today, and among those on board, the head of a private paramilitary organization that last June led an insurrection against Russia President Vladimir Putin's military. This video appears to show that plane coming down. Yevgeny Progoshin reportedly coming to an agreement with Mr. Putin that there would be no punishment for him going forward. But from the history of all this, of course, those who betray Mr. Putin usually pay later. Is that what happened today? Our investigative reporter, Kristen Thorne, is on the story right now. Kristen. Bill, that's something a lot of people are speculating about. Was this Putin? But knowing Putin, we will most likely never find out if he was behind this. Just two months ago, the mercenary leader Yevgeny Prigozhin challenged Russian President Vladimir Putin with a failed mutiny. Today, a private jet belonging to Prigozhin crashed in a village just north of Moscow, killing all 10 passengers on board. Russian's aviation authority announced that Prigozhin was on the plane. President Biden spoke about the news today while on vacation in California. I don't know for a fact what happened, but I'm not surprised. There's not much that happens when Russia is not behind, but I don't know enough to know the answer. The crash's cause is unknown, but it has triggered a flood of speculation whether Prigozhin may have been targeted. He's not the first person to gone against uh, President Putin, and he's off, and he's not the first person that. Uh, ended up the same way. Prigozhin's brief mutiny in June rocked Putin's rule. Prigozhin led thousands of fighters from his mercenary group out of Ukraine and to march on Moscow. Putin called him a traitor. But Prigozhin abruptly called off his forces after a surprise deal was brokered with Putin, who pardoned mutineers, allowing them to go into exile in Belarus. Many at the time, though, doubted the Kremlin would be so forgiving. But since then, Prigozhin had seemed to return to business as usual, repeatedly spotted in Russia. His most recent appearance was just two days ago in Africa, where his military group has been growing in influence. Some Russian experts, though, are saying Prigozhin may not be dead, that multiple people have changed their names to Yevgeny Prigozhin in order to protect Prigozhin's travels. We know that at least eight bodies have been recovered at the scene.